M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here, just having a look at the scope and scan on my ID52. So, all we're going to do is go into VFO mode by just pressing the VFO button here. And if we wanted memory, you would just hit memory like so. So, VFO. Okay, and we're in single receive, so just hold down the main button here. That's dual receive, that's single receive. Now let's choose our scope. So we've, we've, you can see now it's showing our GPS because we do have a lock, as you can see up there. How do you get this to show on the GPS? When you go menu, click set. And in display, you've got one option there, which is called single display. Let's find it. There it is, single display. When you select that, I've selected GPS information. You've got date as well there, the GPS. So that's how that's happening. Anyway, we're not going to do that. We want to we wanna have the scope on there, okay? So all you do is go menu, get the grid, go across, then up one here, and select scope. Okay, we're on the scope now. Now at the moment we can't see anything, can we? This is maybe a tiny bit of information coming here. So let's just do a scan forward and back. So to scan, just hold your finger on mode. And then just click, you've got all these different ones you can select, band. Actually, I don't know what P-Link is, but anyway, you've got two meters here and here, two meters to 70, and then you've got 77, so, and, and probably more settings. So all we're gonna do is select all by pushing the middle button here. And straight away it's scanning. It will stop when it finds things. If you turn the top knob, like so, it'll carry on or it'll pause. And it's pretty good the way it shows. Obviously there's a lot of signals there that we'd never look at. We're way out of band. But just to show you that how good the, the scope does actually work on the 52. Now let's go down and see if we can find anything a bit more useful. We're just turning the channel change backwards until it scans without stopping. 443250. So that could be a D-star signal maybe or, or maybe even DMR. I'm not sure. Let it keep going. Something there. So we're not finding loads, so let's just stop it. Push the PTT, I think. There you go, PTT. And then we'll put in a different band. So let's push the quick button. Go back. Let's come out of scope first, but just push VFO. Then quick, band select, go up one, band select. And we'll just choose two meters. There you go, and then we'll do the scan again. All, see if it finds anything. It's not really finding much. Let's put the scope on, we'll go menu, scope. We'll go backwards this time and hit the scan again. Ooh. So we're not finding much, but just letting you know how if there is a signal, you get to see the band and what's on the band. Let's just try one more thing. We'll do a repeater search. So we'll go into DR mode. So we'll come out of the scope by pushing the VFO, like so. Turn that down. Then we'll hold down DR. And we're in the DR mode. Now let's do scan. We'll do near repeat at all. And it'll just search through, and that's in DR mode. And we can have the 
scope there as well. Or we could come out of DR mode. Hold down, get rid of the scope for now, pushing VFO. Hold down DR. Then we'll go to memory. And let's do scan again. Let's hold down scan. All. And again, we can do the scope. And it will scan. Okay, I thought I'd show you that anyway, just playing around with the 52. That's Hubnet, my all-star know that's in the house. 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe.